Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. This is new video tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we are going to learn to create a Maven based web project in Visual Studio Code. So guys, let's check it out prerequisite. The first most important prerequisite is you must have Java JDK installed on your machine. So please verify before starting. Now we will see how to set up Apache Maven 3.8 in Visual Studio Code. I have divided whole process in these steps so we will follow every step one by one so let's get started with this step one first we need to download latest maven package as you can see on this notepad this is the download link you can check this download link in the video description so just copy that download link and open browser and visit this place this is the official download page by Apache Maven now just to scroll down and we are looking for a file so under this section binary zip archive in front of that we have this zip file so guys just click on this link and the Apache Maven will be downloaded very soon this file is not big so just put it and place somewhere at this safe location so I have placed somewhere in a folder now we will move to the next step as you can see I have downloaded this zip file now moving to the step 2 in the step 2 we have to set up environment variable so we will create one environment variable let me show you how first extract this download package and you will get this folder let's check it out inside this we have these files and folders we have extracted it because we will set the path of this folder in environment variable do the right click of this PC this PC and open properties now go here advanced system settings and this properties window will open in the advanced tab here we have this button environment variable click on it and you will see environment variable window under this section system variables we have create one new variable I have already created let me delete it first then I will create a fresh one basically this is the variable Java underscore home and which is already set to some path but I will delete it first and I will create a new one for you so click on this new button and just add variable name maven underscore home and here at this place we have to set the path of the downloaded maven folder okay guys so just copy the path this way and go back here and put that value here make sure you are uh, setting the path up to the parent folder click ok now we have to perform one more thing we have to set the path inside the path variable so search for the path variable click edit and guys look at here as you have set for the java home in the same way we have to set for the maven underscore home percentage sign maven underscore home percentage sign backslash bin so this way set one variable at this place and click OK I hope this is clear to you now we will move to the step 3 in the step 3 we will verify our Maven installation to do that we have to open CMD and then we have to use a simple command just type CMD and right here type mvn hyphen v press enter uh, within seconds you will see this message apache maven 3.8 which is the installed version of the maven and you will see the maven location the place where we have installed it means the download location that we have set in the environment variable once you get this in information this means you have successfully set up your apache maven now we can proceed with the next step now in the step 4 we will open the visual studio code 
so this is the visual studio code already open now we follow this step 5 in this step 5 we have to download two important vs code extension first one is java project manager which is developed by the microsoft and the second one is maven for java this is also developed by the microsoft i will show you here in the visual studio code now inside the visual studio code click here so this will open the extension search box just type project and you will see very first result of this type project manager for java once you click you will see all information also you will see the created by the microsoft and now here we have this button just clicked on it and this will install within three or four seconds now we will install the second extension type maven then you will see the result click on it and you will find this maven for java which is also developed by the microsoft now click on this install button and this will also install within two and three seconds now we will restart the visual studio code once here i'm going to open the visual studio code okay guys now we will follow the step six in the step six we will learn to create maven web project in vs code now how to do it so guys just click here add folder or you can choose the file menu option or you can go here and uh, click at this place add folder to workspace you have both option so i just clicked on add folder so guys i'm going to simply create one folder on the desktop this is the blank folder that i have created nothing inside it so i have to simply just select it to add here in the workspace once this is added select it do the right click on it and then click here create maven project once you click you will see this drop down and we have these many options if you want to proceed with this simple arc type non web project so you can click first option also you have the second option for a specific jdk because i have two kind of jdk setup is there and now the third one is for the react js arc type and fourth one is the right one which we are looking for maven arc type for web app project so guys click on it so you will see this will ask for you the version just select for 1.4 now we have to provide the group id means package name you can specify if you want to change it you i am giving just simple one demo and now this is the artifact id so once you generate a war file so war will be generated with this name so i have given the artifact id demo press enter and this will ask you to save the project now again what you have to do just select the same folder again that we have created same folder i have selected so whatever the project has been created will be inside that folder you will see some progress and some results here in the terminal and this will show the message like this generating project in interactive mode uh, wait for a few seconds if you are doing first time so make sure you have uh, a good internet connection because this will download or update some libraries after some time you will see this message this is asking to provide one value the snapshot version so i am giving 1.1 after that this will show you the information that you have filled group id artifact id version and the package then uh, this will ask if for the confirmation press yes and then you will see this message build success also you can click here add to workspace and this will not do nothing because we have already added the project folder here in the workspace and your project is ready right here now i will show you the files inside this tree structure this is the src folder we have a web app web inf web xml file inside it we have one uh, file index.jsp 
right now you are watching the index dot gsp now i will do a small change i will say hello cool it help and i will save this file now finally we will see the pom.xml which is the core of this maven project now you can see we have group id tags artifact id tag version and other tags as well you can see we have the plugins tags which is already defined as a default template of this pom xml so this is the simple one we are not going to do much with this we are going to simply understand how to generate war file in next step so here in step 7 we will do a build and uh, we will create a war file it's very easy how to do it how to do a build so guys just select your project and do the right click on it and then uh, you have this option click on it open integrated terminal and the terminal will activate it for this before running any command just make sure you are at the right place you must be inside the project folder where you have the pom.xml file look at here okay so we are at the right place now we can execute our build command basically we are going to package it and we are going to generate a jar war file mvn clean package press enter and the process will start and this will not take much time because project is very simple you will get the message build success just above this message you will have the path of the generated war file which is inside the target folder of our project folder now you can see one target folder is appeared now i will expand it uh, here we have our demo.war file so this is our project war file so this project war file is successfully generated for this session we have completed all the steps guys now for the deployment and running this application will be explained in the next tutorial session so i hope to see you there if you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help